I came up with the idea for the documentary, My Name is Video Vixen, because it was important for me that someone let the real vixens, the real video models, finally have a voice and talk openly about their lives. So we decided to gather 20 of these women together for the very first time at a breathtaking location and simply let the cameras roll. My name is Video Vixen. It's a group of girls who want to be on TV, who want to be seen, who want to meet that artist, who want to meet that artist and tell every other girl like, ooh, guess what I do? I'm a tomboy. Definitely a tomboy. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I look better than anybody. You know, I'm doing stuff because I want to be in other avenues. My name is Video Vixen. The furthest that we'd ever stay from each other is probably next door. Next door. <laughs> I, think, I think that we will live together until we get married. Narrowing down the list to 20 women for the exclusive portion of the summit was very difficult for me. I wanted to make sure that all races and ages were represented and to showcase women who really had a story to tell and women who we had actually seen in music videos and on television before. Um, I ended up being shocked at just how candid these ladies really were. I was daddy's little girl. Plain and simple. I could sit there and cuss my dad, tell him I hated him. I tell he would not whoop me. He's like, I was his heart. But my dad left when I was 12 and moved back to Kentucky. And like, our relationship just went straight downhill. I had to go through shit like, see him beat my mom. Like, I, I mean, and it's just like, he don't understand because we went through a hard time where I really didn't even talk to him. I was so excited that Michelle Stiles chose to tell her unique story because she had moved to Atlanta from a very small town and became a dancer at many of the exotic nightclubs and subsequently hooked up with a man who was masquerading first as an agent and later everyone would find out was a pimp. Well, I'm Mike Spade for uh, Michelle Stiles from Disco Inferno. What role did you play in the 50 Cent Disco Inferno video? <laughs> I played the booty role. That footage of Michelle and the Spade character uh, was taken two years ago and uh, subsequently he is now incarcerated on multiple charges um, for prostitution and Michelle has started a brand new life. We are in Atlanta. And everybody questions, well, what, what are you and why are you on the set? Or what is what is your nationality? Where do you come, why do you talk like that? It's certain things. So I can say that about another race. But I'm Brazilian and Romanian. I'm going to check all of that out right now. Uh, I grew up in New York. I've only So, so the rappers treat you better than they treat Tanya? No, not necessarily. Because a lot of times you're going to try me because you're thinking I'm white. But guess okay, what, America? Right. I'm not. You know what I mean? No offense. Okay. Yes, I did date an artist and I had actually met him on set of a video and I used to live with him for about eight months. And I honestly think that he was dating me because of the control factor because he felt like he can control me as being ten years older than me. So, which I felt that was very, I just was disrespected the whole time I was in the relationship. But now I'm a strong woman, I'm independent and I've got a lot of things on my plate and I know I'm about to do big things in the next couple of years. Yes. Opposed to even a dark skin girl, because at least you can you, you can have an ass. ass. Just I mean, you can have an ass, and they're gonna crash you because you know you have a nice body. But for me, I have to work a little bit harder because I have to rely more on my look. But wait a minute, you made a comment. You, you're making it seem like only the girls who have the big titties and the big asses are dark skin, and I don't think no. you meant it that way. I don't think you meant it that way, but it's just the way it was said. I asked all of the ladies in advance to bring a keepsake and um, you can see Erica Williford here with the microphone and the white dress on. She brought a keepsake that uh, we all won't soon forget. The first in our series of youngsters who contribute to the community. We caught up with Erica at Brenda Amick's ballet class in downtown Anderson. Uh, she's a sensitive child, very sweet child, and she try, always tries very hard. She's, uh, she's just an exceptional student. Erica is a third grader in Mrs. Cooley's class at Nevitt Forest, and the list of her activities is enough to exhaust most people. She ushers at church, models at Belks, dances the ballet, and gets straight A's, too. I just 
like doing a lot of things. I'm real active. And um, I don't, I'm not a stay at home person. I like to go a lot. In Masika's confessional, she actually chose to show me a keepsake that brought me to tears. In her death, when she died, it was a big opening for me realizing I need to slow my ass down because I was getting to things I had no business doing because it takes over and this becomes you and becomes your life. I was out of school for two years. I don't need to go back to school. I'm straight. I'm this. I'm the hot shit right now. When she died, I had to stop and sit my ass down and realize this isn't me. This, this, this life isn't me. This is TV. You actually clock out of this. The makeup comes off at the end of the day. And these girls don't realize. They think that it's a video 24-7. I'm telling a story that she's not here to tell. Her name isn't Video Vixen. Her name isn't Host. Her name isn't Model. Her name isn't even China. Her name is Brianna Michelle Bowen. How many people knew that? People talking about China, China, China. That was her nickname. She looked like a little China doll. Her name is Brianna. Brianna was an intelligent girl, beautiful girl, sweet girl, humble girl who loved going to church, loved singing, loved dancing, loved being around her brother and her little sister. But now she's the video vixen at the unmarked grave. My name isn't Video Vixen. My name ain't A Shouty. My name ain't, yo, I'm Masika. Masika Kalisha, who goes to school and goes to work just like anybody else. It was very important for me to be here, and I feel like not for myself, because everything that I've done so far is not totally all for me. Like I said, I, I feel like the girls that are coming into this, we need to set a better example for them, period. And if we're sitting up here like, oh man, this girl's doing this and this girl's doing that, well, you know what, it's because of us. It's because we do what we got to do, and, and we've learned that, you know, it's a cutthroat industry, and girls are going to talk about you this, that, and the third, but guess what? The rappers are laughing, the directors are laughing, everybody's laughing at us, period, point blank. And I feel like this summit needs to be the, the first thing that starts, basically, a revolution. If women, if, if we all came together, it wouldn't be no $250 the day budgets. It wouldn't be no $300. You know how much they make off of videos? Do you know that, that, that the artists get residuals off every time they make the video? You know how much money that me and LaShante and Veronica would have made if we would have had residuals off of gold dick? A little tidbit out there that I know you guys do not know about me is that my mom is a legendary Motown artist. If you remember Dancing in the Street or Jimmy Mack or Heat Wave, my mom is one of the original Marguerites in the Vandella. She was a Vandella. And my Auntie Martha is my godmother and my auntie and also a councilwoman now in Detroit. Wow, what you know about Many that? Many of you see me in magazines, you see me in videos. You see me doing events and parties, but what you don't know is that I am a professional. I'm a realtor. I'm a woman who owns a modeling agency. I'm actually standing here in one of my listings. It's a half a million dollar listing. The kind of money that you make on that, I mean, you might see me in the street and say, oh, she's just a model. She's not making any money, but this is where the true money is. I'm a realtor. I'm a woman who is professional, and I am a video racer.